artists, you know, I think we should strive to create art that after seducing with beauty actually captures people and shakes them with emotion. Well, today we're going to paint simple pine cones, but we're going to do it in a way that hopefully will shake people with emotion. Uh, now I'm going into a darker, deep value of Antwerp for up in the corner. So I'm coming in, there's that puddle. I'm coming into that puddle and just stopping as I get close to it. Down here, I'm gonna come around these pine cones but not, not go into them. So I'm gonna leave that very dark, dark, value, come around the pine cones, that part's pretty well masked so I don't have to worry too much about that part. I'm going to use some of that dark up in here as well, come back in here around the edge of the pine cone, pull some of that dark value up there. Dark, dark values. Uh, go back to your magenta. Let's put some of that on this pine cone. It's not a bright pink, but it's just a little shade of pink. And we're going to put a little of that on each of these final pine cones. Okay, back to brown matter now. A little darker up here so we get a value contrast. Here's a little green, we'll leave that. Kind of like that green in there. The things that happen with watercolor when it when you're, it's just left to do its own thing are really the best part of the painting. You'll find that. You have to be able to work with watercolor and not try and control it. I always say it's good to manipulate it. You can manipulate here and there, but don't try to control. Because then you lose the spontaneity of it. And that's really the most beautiful part. And we're painting in with a uh, mixture of brown matter and uh, a real and yellow. Getting a little darker right here because it's on top of this other pine cone in the background. So we'll add a little bit of dark right there. Okay, and that's all we're doing on that pine cone. <laughs>